Peggy 16. やっぱりあの最初は音がないままで作成しているんですがその子で音がついてきた時のやっぱリアリティあとです、ね、その盛り上がっていく感じっていうのはやはりこれからサウンドもっと重要になっていくんじゃないかなと思っています。今回も甲冑なのかは、えー、フォーリーで録音しましたさらにあの今回はですねあのエネミのボイスまで、えー、録音してさらにこうバリエーション、えー、増やしておりますフォーリーのスタジオで録音した機材に関してはこうあの手に金属類がついたものでそれをこう動かして、えー、録音しましたねサウンド魔法に関して言えば、えー、今回は派手にさらになっていくので、えー、どんどん派手な部分も突きあの音として表現していきたいなと思います。えー、今回あのムチとか大盾に、えー、SE を作るにあたってプランナーとか、えー、グラフィックが来てやるんですが、えー、その作成においては、えー、サンプルや、えー、あサンプルをメインに作ってまして、えー、各マップに、えー、プランナーやグラフィックが入っていただいていろんなマップで検証してみて一番いいものを OK テイクのものをいただきました。It's really impossible to see exactly how Everything is going to come together while you're working on it, I and mean, you have a lot of hopes, just like the fans do. For Dark Souls 1 and 2, I was fortunate enough to be flown over to London to、uh, be in the studio to act as the voice director slash interpreter. Long ago, in a walled off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. You do your best bringing life to characters in the script, and then the next step is that you hope that the, the actor can breathe life into it completely with their, their voice acting. Well, good to see that you survived. Perhaps you're more rugged than I thought. My name is Pate. I journey hither and thither on a sort of treasure hunt, you might call it. I play, a, I play a lot of video games, and I, I, I think when you, hear, when you hear somebody doing it really well, that's what I try and aspire to. Trying to imagine it from the point of view of a player, and hoping that it just fits into the, fits into the world and is believable. For Dark Souls 1 and 2, we are constantly、um, trying slightly different lines in the studio. An actor or actress will come in and do it a certain way, and sometimes that'll help us realize what little bits would, would round out that character more. And we try to encourage actors and actresses to ad lib as they see appropriate after reading the script and seeing what the character is all about. The idea is that he's sort of squatting close by, out of sight, and he's enjoying it. Ooh, that'll leave a scar. Ooh, that'll leave a scar. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's just go straight into that one. Ooh, that'll leave a scar. I do another variation of that. Ooh, that'll leave a nice scar. <laughs> we try and cast our net as widely as we possibly can. So then, when we hit the audition process, maybe some things won't work, some things will work. But I think on every single title, we've had at least a handful of actors that have come in audition and auditioned, and we'd never have thought that the character would have gone in that direction. Who are you? I thought you were that bastard for a moment. I played two characters today. I played、uh, Creighton、um, and I played Magrold as well. And they're two very, very different characters. And so it's very important never to have that kind of crossover. I am Creighton of Mira. I travel from land to land to hone my blade. I've heard this land was full of danger. I thought it would suit me perfectly. Creighton is、uh, is a nomadic warrior, and Magrold is a, a very lovely character, very sweet, but a little bit sly, a little bit dodgy, maybe. A room about, looking for a find, following me instincts. I don't care what things worth. What matters is whether it grabs me. 
Those two characters are so fundamentally different, but yeah, it's still, you have to play your own hero, I think. Every, every character in this story has a wonderful trajectory and a wonderful character arc, and they're all their own heroes. So it doesn't matter how horrible or how nice they are, in your own head, you've always got to be that character's hero, and that's something I never lose sight of. I think we take everything into account. I mean, it's one of, we spend a huge amount of time on Dark Souls. It's one of the things that we decided at the very beginning um, that was really important to us was that we would try and find, you know, interesting, new, fresh actors, as well as kind of really experienced actors that have been doing it for years. A true monarch is much more than a ruler of men. A true monarch carries the weight of their souls. I think it's nice to always bring an aspect of yourself to the character and it's quite fun playing someone who's got such bad intentions because you can kind of use that side of you that you wouldn't hopefully bring out in normal life. That's how much of a fan I am I had this t-shirt printed. I've never really worn it. It's like quite a weird t-shirt to wear, you know? Especially like to a funeral, but I thought if there's one chance for me to wear this shirt, then it's today. When I came in wearing the shirt, nobody mentioned it at all. And I thought, oh God, have I made a terrible mistake? And they kind of did at the end. I still think it was a bit of a mistake. 